Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. I've got so many thoughts on this, how it is absolutely disgusting and it should not be allowed. On the other side, I'm like, wow. A round of applause for these guys. And on this video, I'm gonna talk all about what I know in this fight. And when I was with Mike Tyson just a few months ago, he didn't mention any of this to me. <laughs> and the reason why, because I just quickly asked him for a picture. But also, do I think this is good for boxing or bad for boxing? Well, I'm gonna talk all about that. But first, let's just talk about these two. Mike Tyson, who's 57 years old and will be 58 years old when they do fight on July 20th. and. Mike Tyson's last professional fight was nearly 20 years ago in 2005, although he did have an exhibition fight with Roy Jones Jr. four years ago, where Jake Paul, on the other hand, has been having fights regular, keeping active, training as good, if not better, than most professional boxers. And when you see this promo video that's come out of them, it kind of reminds us of the Hangover movie, because even back then when the Hangover got released, Mike Tyson was in that, and he was pretty old then. But now you can see here just how old he does look. Now, Jake Paul is a master at promotions, a master at marketing. And even though this has just been announced, he's really selling this fight. He posted this video clip of Mike Tyson hitting the mitts and he said, he's the greatest heavyweight of all time, the most vicious kill artist ever, but I'm younger, I'm faster, and I'm going to be working my ass off to get stronger. A member of my team sent me this video that Mike Tyson's coach put up just two weeks ago and asked me, are you sure if you want to do this? Now, if you see this clip of Mike Tyson here, he looks fierce. He looks like he would knock anyone out, which he probably would knock most people out. But these are like six second clips cut up and just about any ex-professional boxer can look good for six seconds, including myself. But obviously he's working and you just see the size of his legs there. He's still got that power in his punches. And on here, you can see he's still got that great head movement. And Mike Tyson is probably one of, if not my favorite boxer of all time. I love him, huge fan. So when I did get this picture, I was so happy. But living in Los Angeles for so long, I heard some stories about Mike Tyson, about when he was on his podcast, he would just eat a handful of mushrooms. He would be smoking weed all the time. He would be falling asleep during a podcast. And I think it's common knowledge that he just smokes weed all the time and obviously not living the life as an athlete. Even though that he was many, many moons ago an amazing fighter, what happens when you get old? You don't lose your power. You can see on the video, he's still got power on his punch. But what goes first as you get older as a boxer is your reaction time. You can often see a punch coming at you, but you just kind of get out of the way of it. And with the fights that Mike Tyson's had in his career against the best heavyweights out there, taking some big solid punches to the chin, being knocked out multiple times, and with the lifestyle he's been living, what do you think his punch resistance will be like? Now, Jake, on the other hand, has been living like an elite athlete. He's got the money to be able to hire the best teams, the best nutritionists, the best chefs, the best training team, the best strength coaches, everything he's got there to be the ultimate athlete, and he really, really wants this. Now, I would need to take my hat off to Jake Paul, because this fight is on Netflix. He's doing things that people have not done in the sport of boxing, whether you like him or not. He's taken this stuff to a whole new level. And I actually love that about him. I love the marketing side, the marketing brain he's got. I think it's great and I really respect that. And Mike Tyson, on the other hand, is only doing this for one thing. And I posted on Instagram when this got announced and I said, it's pretty sad that Mike Tyson's got to do this. And someone commented straight away, like, he doesn't have to do this. He's got a choice to do this. And I thought about it for a little bit and like, yeah, he has got a choice that he was going to do this. But why is he choosing to do this? Well, it's for the money. And what I should have said was, it's sad that Mike Tyson can still be bought because that's what's happened here. He's being bought, hasn't he? Because <laughs> let's be real. He is doing this for the money. Now, I don't think I've got as much money as Mike Tyson right now, but if someone offered me $20 million to fight Jake Paul or to fight Mike Tyson, I would say, no, I'm not doing that. I'm looking after my brain. I don't want to risk anything. Me, I haven't got a legacy like Mike Tyson either. I don't know why I'm comparing myself, but me personally, I wouldn't want to put my reputation on the line to fight someone like Jake Paul, even though I had so much success in boxing, winning an Olympic medal, European champion, and the rest of it. In my position now, give me $20 million to fight Jake Paul, I wouldn't do it because 
I'm good in life. I'm happy in life. I cannot be bored in my life. Again, it's sad that Mike Tyson can can be bored. I mean, I guess there will be something deep inside him that, like, you know, misses the, the fame and the limelight, the big stage, I guess. But really, Mike Tyson can have the limelight, the big stage, anywhere he goes. At that event where I was, where I got the picture took with him, everyone idolized him. They couldn't believe it was I and Mike. He's getting recognition anywhere he goes. He can do just about anything he wants. But why has he got to fight Jake Paul? Who's around him? What's his team seeing around him? Well, I could guess what they're seeing around him, which is like, yeah, fight him. You're going to get $20 million. Uh, can I be on your payroll? Can I get a little back on there? Can I? Yeah. And if everyone around him is on the take, which another thing that I heard used to happen when he was fighting, it's just going to build his ego. Yeah. Mike, you can knock out this YouTuber, no problem. You're gonna get 20 million dollars for finding a YouTuber. <laughs> you fought the likes of Lennox Lewis, you fought the likes of Evander Holyfield. You're gonna absolutely kill this Jake Paul fella, and then you're getting all this money. Yeah, mate, give me a little backhander that. I'll have some of that money. <laughs> That's what the people around him must be seeing. Well, I don't know. It's still early days on this. It's just been announced. As time goes by, we will find out a lot more about the details of this. And what's funny, my friend Alex text me like oh look mike tyson he's gonna knock out jake paul in one round i can't believe it oh this is going to be amazing and i was like alex you're thinking about mike tyson from 25 years ago mate which i think of mike tyson from 25 years ago but age plays such a big part in this it really does with the knockouts that mike tyson's had in his career how's his punch resistance you would be stupid if you thought that jake paul couldn't punch because he can punch. Can Mike Tyson take Jake Paul's overhand right? <laughs> now, to me, if someone who's looked up to Mike Tyson for years, three years ago, if I would never have thought I would ever see that line. But Jake Paul's been working his bloody ass off in the gym. Mike Tyson hasn't. Jake Paul and bang. You can't put muscle on your chin. He's 58 years old. What's his punch resistance like? What is, what is his conditioning like? We just don't know. Now, I would love to know your thoughts below. And I'm going to do a follow-up video on this as time goes on and we learn more about this event. Now, like I said, Mike Tyson was an absolute animal. Animal in his day. If you would like to know how to box like him. I've created this video here where I show you all about his peekaboo style. So click here and watch this video next and I'll break down how Mike Tyson used to box.